Oke, okay, alright. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Please be upon you. Okay, saya cakap kamera dulu. Okay, today viewers, we are going to try this question. I'll post the question of the link in the description below. Okay, class, so let's give them a try. Be before we start, do you know your basic angles? What is your basic angles? Yeah. I think I need to see. Let's say this is 60, 30, 90. I bring. And the other basic angle is. Forty-five, forty-five, ninety. And what do we know about the length? This is one one set two. Okay. And what about this one? Okay, yeah, this one is one, two, set three. Jab, jab. Okay, so what about if I ask you what is sine 60? Do you remember how to calculate sine? Okay, I mean, people have their own way of memorizing. Uh, I'm sorry, I learned this in Malay language. So, for me, this is T, B, and H. Okay, I mean, we have our own way of memorizing, like opposite, adjacent, and others. This is how I memorize. Lah. Okay, uh, I mean, tentang, sebelah, Hypotenuse. Huh? Okay, I don't want to argue. You you memorize the way that you find it comfortable for you. What I find that I can memorize the most is is this. My friend taught me this actually, and he said this. Saya takut hantu. Kalau saya hantu, tak takut sangat. Which then I laugh and I memorize until today. <laughs> Yelah, saya takut hantu. Everyone takut hantu kan? And kalau you hantu, you tak takut lah. <laughs> Yelah, hantu mana takut hantu kan? <laughs> I, I somehow, I dengar tu sekali and I memorize that for the rest of my life, okay? <laughs> so, banyak pahala ada hari ni. Okay, you, you have your own mem way of memorizing. So, sign 60, how do you calculate? Set 3 over 2. Set 3 over 2. What about sign 30? You main kat sini kan? You go over here. 1 over 2. What about if I ask you sine 45? 
1 over You go for here 1 1 over set 2 You okay with this simple introduction? And what about if I ask you cos 60? 1 over 2 What about if I ask you cos 30? Set 3 over 2 Now what about if I ask you cos 45? 1 over set 2 Okay, I want you to recognize a few things Did you realize this? The same as this? Do you even realize that this is the same as this? And of course, finally, this is a switch. Sorry, I missed my set too. Well, this remains the same. So what happened here? What what rules do we use? It's mainly is this color sine if we got ourselves sine theta is equals to cos 90 minus theta. 90 is is, is like the absolute rule. Lah. So if I got here just now sine 60 So, 90 minus 60 is the same as cos 30. Do you see that? Okay. So, if I got myself as well, sine 45 is equal to cos 45. Now, do you realize where, why they are the same? Why they switch? Can you see the pattern? That we use this rule. Lah. So in short as well, it's the same as cos theta equals to sine 90 minus theta. Where you got yourself, let's say cos 60, that means sine? Yep, sine 30, 90 minus 60. We we using this. I mean, this rules applies to everything. Let's say if I say to you, the cos is twenty, so the sine is 70. 70, 90 minus seven twenty. If I say to you, sine ten, the partner of cos will be eighty. Life makes easy. Okay. Other thing is then, what about tangent? Tangent is the, is the weird one. Tangent 30 equals to? Yep, you're right. 1 over set 3. Tangent 60. Set 3 over 1 is equals to? Very good. <laughs> Things over one is always <laughs> get it, get it itself. And finally, what about tangent forty five? <coughs> Equals to one. Okay, of all these three, I want you to memorize by heart. Tangent forty five is equals to one. Memorize this. And if I ask you, one is equals to tangent what? Tangent 45. I've seen an exam question where number satu, the number one, you need to translate back to tangent 45. There's no clue over there. So this is the special one that you need to memorize. Okay. The thing is, how do you memorize this thing? You know this now. You've learned the trick. But how do you memorize it? Some people say, sir, I want to memorize the triangle, and then I draw this thing. I say, that's fine. Some people say, sir, sir, I, I, I have difficulties with triangle. I think I want to memorize this table. 
this list lah untuk table lah kan nak cantik lah <laughs> and I said that's fine as well but if you ask me sir do you memorize them my answer is no <laughs> I mean how are you going to make sure that you memorize correctly during exam I mean in exams you got stress right you got pressure and everything you do not know you are not sure and orang sebelah have started to do their work people besides you have started to do their work and you got panic and here how am I going to teach you how I memorize it's a lazy way well I use my calculator <laughs> the thing I need to memorize is let's say if I got myself sine 30 voila 0.5 I know it's 1 over 2 0 0.5 ah. so it's 1 over 2 so what I actually memorize is this 0 0.5 is equals to 1 over 2 so let's try others sine 60 equals to 0 0.866 is equals to 3 over 2 and then I mean I mean if you memorize this way you just have to memorize the number oh, now just now I do for sine so now if I do for cos Cos 30, I got this, I know it's at 3 over 2. Cos 60, I know it's 1 over 2. Now what about if sine 45? 0 0.707. And this is equals to? <laughs> the black calculator will give you this. And this is where the danger of the silver calculator comes in. Okay, who use silver calculator? Please raise your hand. All right. Okay, silver calculator. Most likely, your your calculator will give you set two over two. Am I right? In trigonometry, most of the time you want to use the original form. What do I mean by original form? Well, can you find set 2 over 2 in this triangle? You cannot. So how do they get set 2 over 2, sir? Well, they normalize it. 1 over set 2, they multiply with set 2 over 2. That's how you got yourself this one. So silver calculator, take note. Set 2 over 2 is this in trigonometry. Silver calculator uses take note. This is not the only number left. We haven't tried tangent. Do you want me to repeat that again? <coughs> Are you guys okay? Okay, just silver calculator, take note. If you got this one, go back to this value. Most of the time, you, you want that one. Especially in proving. And then, what about tangent 30? See, no wonder. Tangent 30. So 0 0.577 is what? One over set three. Okay, color silver calculator. What do you get? Yes, for silver calculator, you get yourself set three over three. How do you get set three over three? 1 over set 3 times set 3 and set 3. Okay? Silver calculator, take note. If you got this one, go back to the original form. Why did I say 1 over set 3 is the original form? Because it's not in the triangle. You okay? And then, of course, we go further. What about tangent 60? 1.73, so 1.73 is what? Set 3. And finally, well, tangent 45 is 1. 1 is 1 lah. <laughs> you don't need to memorize that one. So in exams, I'm just telling you from my experience. I don't memorize the graph. I don't, I, I don't memorize the, the triangle. 
I don't memorize this thing, the table. Whenever I encounter, I always press my calculator. I'm a black calculator user. I'm the team Wakanda. So I memorize the number. Okay, let's say if you don't memorize the number, you got 0 0.866 and you gone panic. 0 0.866, what is it? Is it set 3? Is it 1 over set 3? Relax, chill out. Guys, chillax, chillax. Just press yourself, set 3 over 2. Tada, you got it. Okay? So the line exam, don't, don't panic yourself. If you got yourself 0 0.577 and you cannot memorize, you cannot recall, you cannot remember. Chillax, guys. Firstly, try set 3. Oh, you tak dapat. You get something else. So then you try one over set 3. Oh, 0 0.577. Okay? Now you understand my lazy technique on how to memorize? <laughs> Can I ask someone, did you use this technique when you were in school days? You know how I use this technique? My other lazy friends teach me this. And he's right now a doctor. Can we trust this doctor? <laughs> yeah, that's up to you. So that's your basic angles. Okay, other basic things that you need to know. Other basic things that you need to know. Please silent your phone. It's all right, all right. Now, do you remember the sine graph? And cos graph? Do you memorize them? Sign start from here. Yeah, the top one is one. The bottom is negative one. The cost graph will be here is one. Here's negative one. Now, what about the value between them? This is ninety. Yeah. Okay, how how do you memorize sir? I memorize just here is uh, 180. I memorize this is 360. If you look around, you got yourself a circle. Pop. Circle is 360, right? This is half a circle, this is another half a circle. So 180, 180, 360. So in the middle is 90 and of course 270. Okay, so what about this one? Where's the 90? 90 is over here. Here is? Uh, sorry, sorry, this is 180. Sorry. My mind is not the same as what I talked about just now. And here 360. And the top is 1. The bottom is negative 1. What about here? 90 and 270. 90 and 270. Just plus minus 90, yeah lah. You okay? Alright, let's say in exams, you got panic. You cannot recall which is which. You forgot. Oh, I just know the graph, but I do not know which one is cos, which one is sine. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, calculator. Check yourself again. Sine 0 is equals to 0. So this one. <laughs> Cos 0, 1, so it's this one. So, chillax, don't get panic. You okay? So then again, if you, remember, if you, if you, if you see just now, cos 0 is equal to what? Sine what? Sine 90, how do you know? The thing, the thing that we... Do this one just now. Do you remember? Okay. So the same over here. If I ask you, if I ask you, sine ninety is equals to cos zero. Very good. Which is of course cos zero is one. Yeah, right. Cos zero is one. Sine ninety is one. Where did I go? That number. Cos. 
Okay, other basic, basic things that you need to know, I think you are familiar with this. Do you remember? How do you memorize it? All yeah, 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 yeah. So. Okay, when my lecturer taught, when my, when my teacher firstly taught me, is that all science teacher cute and I laugh, ah, oh, Cikguni Prasan. <laughs> this teacher is so angkat bakul. And then there's someone said, said, uh, no, no, it's not all science teacher cute, all science teacher crazy. And then at that time, yeah, our maths teacher is crazy. And I laugh at our maths teacher. Yes, yes, he is crazy. Ha ha ha, I laugh at him. And a few years later, I become a maths teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so moral of the story, you don't laugh at your lecturers. <laughs> don't be like me, I was stupid enough. <laughs> Okay, so you know how to use this. Okay, but there is one thing that people keep on forgetting. How you going to calculate your, your, your angle from here is that it rise from the x-axis. The value of theta you calculate is from here. Okay, we, we will go deeper for this one soon. So be be extra alert, ah. You got you got that butterfly. Okay, I missed something just now. What about tangent graph? Well, tangent graph is is a bit difficult. Let me double check. Yep, if you got confused, press here. Tangent 90 equals to? Tangent 90 equals to what? Make error. So, siapa cakap one? Don't lie. So, how you draw the graph is like this. Negative 90, 90. It's, it's a lot easier to draw the, the symmetrical. The 90 means it is an asymptote. <coughs> So it never touch. And then you repeat it again. Let's find the next error. What do you think the next error is? Tangent 1 AO, we got 0. After that is 270, you got max error. So you go to 270, you draw another one, you repeat them again. Are you okay? Easy, right? Easy way to memorize them. You're so lucky you got a lazy lecturer. <laughs> okay, let me end with uh, identity. It's not there. Do you memorize this? Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to? Yeah. Equals to what? One. This one you have to memorize. No choice. And from here you can gener gener generate another two. How? You divide. Let's say firstly you divide by. Nampak, you see this cos square, right? So we divide by cos squared theta. Cos squared over cos squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1. Sine over cos. Sine over cos. Tangent. One over cos 
Set squared theta Alamak tak hafal ke? Don't worry, don't worry I'll teach you soon Now what about if I divide by Sine Let's start the easy one Sine over sine 1 Cos over sine Cot 1 over sine Cos X there's, there's no magic here, it's just I, I'm dividing them Alright So now let's learn on how to memorize it uh, the, tr the truth is I, I don't memorize I just memorize the first line And others I derive in exams Okay, the first one You don't have a choice You, might, you need to memorize that one And it's not difficult Cos squared plus sine squared equals to 1 I don't think you will get panic And you forget that one And the rest that we need to memorize Is sine divided by cos Everybody knows this This one is tangent Okay The tricky one is here 1 over cos is sec let's put theta to be more kiasu precise 1 over sine is cos x and 1 over tangent can you see Alright, just copy them first And if you want to be super more precise uh, This one, another way will be Cos theta over sine lah Which how we got caught over here Cos divided by sine, we got caught Okay If you want pictures, then I'll send it to you soon Okay, so let's learn how to memorize it. This one is easy. School days, fine enough. Now, this thing over here. Before I begin, before I start telling you the, the secret on how to mem memorize, let me tell you a real life story. Someone that I used to know, before he entered his exam hall, Matt's exam hall, of course, not bio. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm trying to laugh here. <laughs> okay, uh, before I, before this person I, that, that I know, before he entered the exam hall, Max exam hall, he always memorized this formula, repeated himself before he entered. Lah. So he's like, 1 over cos is sec, 1 over sine is cos sec, 1 over tan is cot. For every of his Max exam in college, university. And this person on his final Final paper of university. That means after this, no more maths exam. The final one. He's still doing the same things. 1 over sine is a cos x. 1 over cos is sec. 1 over tan is cot. And his routine is whenever he entered the exam hall, this is the first thing he write down. He wrote down on his paper. Before he wrote down his name, before he wrote down his numbers, matrix or university number, he wrote this one first because he's so scared that he got forgot. And on his last... Exam, maths. When he wrote this down, he realized this thing. Oh, see the third alphabet? See the third alphabet? See the third alphabet? So it's not that difficult for you to memorize. Okay, how, of you, how many of you just know about this? Please raise your hand. Who, who just know about this thing, this technique? Okay, please raise your hand. Few over there. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. You saved your time from, you know, being that guy. And you want to know who's that guy? You. Yes, it was me. I only realized this when I was 23 years old. So I wasted my life, like five years old. Five years of my life, I wasted it. So I saved your life for five years. <laughs> Say thank you to me. Magnum ice cream will do just fine. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, that's that's. I have covered your basics. I have covered your basics. So let's try a few of this exercise. Let's try a few of them. Okay. Uh, I will be really grateful if you can actually finish off number one until number four before our next lecture. Okay. Yeah. I just cover your basics, but you need the practice. So let's try a few while we have time. <coughs> Sign 135. Okay, you are not allowed. Class, class. One attention. You are, you, you are not allowed to straight away press your calculator and get the answers. Sign 135, what's the magic? Uh, it's, it's the same as sine 45. Okay, all science teacher cute. So, where is 135? It's over here. So, here is 45, 135. So, sine 135 is the same as sine 45. Okay, 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 you don't get it. Okay, here. Here is 135. So what's the what's the partner over here? 45. So, yeah, yeah you minus it, 180. So sine 135 is sine 45. Sine 45 is what? You may press your calculator if you forget. I think it's 1 over set 2. Yeah, 0 0.7. One over. Silver calculator. Set two over two is equal to? One over set two. Okay, normally you want to start with this. After that, then only you change back to normal. Uh, especially when you go to proof questions. Now let's try to continue. What about tangent 135? Is it the same as tangent 45? The answer is no. Why? All science teacher cute. So here is one three five. So the partner is forty five. But it's sign. Only sign is positive. So what does it mean? Negative. Negative tangent forty five. So negative. Like I said just now, don't press your calculator. Tangent forty five is equal to what? So the answer is. Negative one. You may press it secretly under the table. Who knows? <laughs> now, what about cos 240? All sign teacher cute. Where's 240? It's over here. It's a 240. So where's the partner? Is it here? Is this the partner? No, the partner is here. Sorry, sorry. This is not the partner. The partner is over here. Why, sir? It's from the x-axis. You remember this butterfly? You know how I memorize this thing? Come, come, melody. Come, come, melody. You are my butterfly. Sugar, baby. <laughs> It's an old song. <laughs> so remember that song, Butterfly is your trigo. <laughs> so, so if here is 60, negative or positive 60? Why negative? All assigned teacher cute. Only tangent is cute. Tangent is positive. So here is negative. Cos 60 is how much? I don't memorize. I forgot. One over two. Yeah, one over two. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Negative <laughs> one over two. I was too excited for now, for just now. Okay, and and I. 
didn't have much of a time. What about if I, if you were given this? Tangent negative seven pi over six. Wow. How do you begin? Start crying. <laughs> well, don't get panic. Pi is how much? 180. So, times 7 divided by 6. 210. So, it's actually tangent negative 210. But, where the heck is negative 210? Opposite direction. This is negative 210. So where's your partner? Is it this one? No. no? Where? Yeah. Down here. So this is 30 or maybe negative 30 over here. How do you memorize? No, I mean, I mean why, do you, why is it over here? Why is it not over here? Butterfly, come, come, my lady. <laughs> I, can, I can see that people are clinging over there. <laughs> so, tangent negative 330 is equal to? Okay, should you still include the negative over there? Well, the negative just telling you which way. Uh, I'll go here. Why do I take the negative out? Because we know over here, only sign is positive. Yeah, I missed another negative teaching. So they got the negative there, so tangent, tangent 30. You can say here, tangent 30. Right, this is what? What is this? You forgot, 0 0.577. Chillax, guys, chillax. Negative 1 over, set 3. You okay? Alright, I ran out of time. Just uh, one small one small clue for your question. If you are given sign theta equals to twelve over thirteen, let's say if you're given this question, you start with this, you want to find cos theta and you find want to find tangent theta. How? Yes, the triangle. You, okay, if you got this type of question where they tell you sin theta sec or something, you draw, you draw the triangle. So here is your theta. Well, here is 12. This is 13. So what is here? 5. Okay, Peter theorem Pythagoras. So cos theta is? 5 over 13. Tangent is? 12 over 5. Alright, that's all. So, 3 try and finish them. 1 until 4. This one, you need to use the identity. Uh, number 4, you need to use the identity. You need to use this one. Okay? Good luck. All the best. Thank you for listening, viewers. Please subscribe and please help. Press the bell button for the notification. And comment for anything else.